Hello everybody, this is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough we're going to be checking out the brand new Symbology version 2.0 upgrade. This library is a massive collection of percussion effects built around bowed cymbals and gongs. For this library, we captured 20 unique cymbals and explored bowing them in exquisite detail with dozens of variations and we even experimented with dry ice. These often sought after dramatic scoring fundamentals are perfect for setting dark moods, building stingers, whether you're scoring for horror or dramatic suspenseful scoring, this is a library you're going to want to have, especially for when you need those kind of sounds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and features within the new Symbology version 2.0 upgrade. So for this new version 2.0 upgrade, we've remastered the samples and placed them into our flexible modular template, which gives you a whole bunch of possibilities to take these sounds even further than before. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a rundown as far as the UI. So right down here, you have this layer system. Mic 1 and Mic 2 contain all of the same articulation sets, and then you have a layer for ambiences as well as subsynth. So right now I have Mic 1 selected and we're looking at the bowed category. So now let's just go ahead and cycle through some of the different symbols. If you click this drop down below bowed, you'll see that you have all these different symbols that we've sampled and bowed and created all these crazy and wild sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and play for you some of these now. So that was the bell brass one, now we got the bell brass two. We have a copper bowl. We also have a few different crash symbols. And a really cool feature if you want to take any of these sounds and stretch them across the key range, all you have to do is go to this little icon right here, just click that, find the key that you want to stretch, and then just push that. And now you have it mapped across the entire key range. So that sound sounds really cool in the place that it's at, but I want to hear how this would sound really low on the keyboard. So let's go ahead and see how this sounds. And then you can even utilize the pitch wheel if you want to pitch it up a little bit towards the end. We also have some gongs. Then we got some ride symbols.
So this would be a really cool sound to stretch across the key range because it's got a really short and sharp sound. So we'll see how this sounds. Then we got some splash cymbals. Then we got some warped crashes. So for this library, we also sampled these symbols using some dry ice, which yielded some pretty crazy results. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take you through some of the different frozen recorded sounds now. Let's go ahead and map this one across the key range. And what I love about taking some of these really long and evolving shrieky sort of bowed sounds is that when you pitch them down, they really stretch out a lot more. So it really creates this really dark and moody backdrop. So if you even want to make it even more ambient, you can go into the effects rack. Let's just go ahead and turn on a cathedral sound, Let's turn up the mix a little bit, see how this sounds. And this kind of stuff is perfect, especially if you're doing any kind of horror scoring and you want to conjure up some really dark and evil sounds. This is a great way to do it. All right, so now I want to go ahead and play for you some of the different ambiences that come with the library. There's seven different categories to choose from, so plenty of content if you're in need for any sort of drones or soundscapes or just need to play some, some different ambiences underneath for an underscore. So let's go ahead and just play through some of these.
And then we have these shiftscape ambiences, which are really cool because they swell in and have a lot of movement. And these are great, especially if you're trying to build tension and just have stuff evolve over time. And then if you want to layer in some other sounds, you can actually go ahead and load up the sub synth. And one of the things I like to do is I like to go in here, load up a sign, and then increase this to an octave. And then what you can do is you can go into the advanced tab, turn on the arpeggiator. All right, so before we wrap up this video, I wanna go ahead and play for you some of the different custom effects presets that we made for this library. There's 20 to choose from, and these are all using the different sounds and features within the library. So let's go ahead and have a playthrough of some of these. So one of the really cool things about this preset is it's not only using the LFO, it's using the filter as well as the legato design. So you can see with this engaged, so you can hear when you play a note and then play another note on top, it'll portamento slide into the next one. Just a really cool sound.
All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for the new Symbology version 2.0 upgrade. If you'd like to learn more about this library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all future videos like these, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.